Hey everybody, it's Norm from Test It, and I have two very special guests in our studios today. This is Valerie and Stephanie. You guys are with Circuit Scribe. Um, how are you guys doing? We're, We're doing, doing great. great. Good. Super happy to be here. Yeah, you guys are in town for Maker Fair, showing off uh, Circuit Scribe and a new product you guys are making. But I'd love to learn about Circuit Scribe and how this product came to be. You guys launched on Kickstarter, what was it, like four years ago now or so? Yeah, it was late 2013. So uh, Circuit Scribe is a conductive ink pen. It came out of graduate student research at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. And so there they were doing research with conductive ink and they decided to put it inside of a rollerball pen. And I thought, wow, this is really cool, but we need to get this out. And how are we going to get people playing with this? And and using it. So they developed these really cool tactile magnetic modules and then used Kickstarter as a really great platform to uh, jumpstart us and you know give us what we needed to get started with our production and get our names out there and we've had a really great following ever since. And playing really seems to be the fun part and why this has really taken on. Um, conductive ink, I've seen it in various forms. I don't know, is conductive ink being used in manufacturing today as, uh, as an alternative to making circuits? We actually have a whole other um, industrial side of the company called Electronics. Um, oh. So they, so we are Electronics Writables, and we manufacture Circuit Scribe, so the consumer-facing Circuit Scribe pin and the kits that Valerie was just talking about. And then, yeah, on the other side, um, the company is doing all sorts of really unique and groundbreaking things on, I mean, like, industrial inks. But on the consumer side, it's about teaching kids and, I guess, teaching makers kids. of all ages how to uh, work with simple electronics. Um, so let's, uh, without going into the details of how the conductive ink works, how does it compare, I guess, to if you were to wire up electronics or to have to design your own PCBs? So uh, it's actually a really great way to do single layer PCBs on paper. Um, the pen works really great with our magnetic modules because they're super tactile and you don't have to worry about wires and breadboards. But if you just have a piece of paper and a bunch of surface mount components, you could draw out your single layer PCB, um, attach your surface mount components, and get basically an immediate spin of a board without having to wait two weeks to get it from the board house. Mm -hmm. And you can also kind of have whatever scale you want it to be because you're just drawing on sheets of paper really, which if someone's learning how these things are connected, it's not tiny, packed into a tiny PCV. You exactly. Can, you're not bound by any of those constraints. Yeah, everybody you know, knows how to write their name on a piece of paper, so they're using something that's already very familiar to you in order to kind of like demystify the magic of circuits and be like, wow, you know what, this is something that I can actually do and I'm not you know, scared of it. So in coming up with kits and something that's gonna be accessible, right? Uh, the, the people buying a circuit scribe kit may have very little you know, knowledge of how PCBs work or how electronics work together. What are, what are the things that come in a kit and how do these help get people started? Uh, so we have um, different inputs and outputs and connectors. So you can, and of course, power. So you learn about how uh, to use power to con uh, control an output through mm. using our inputs and connectors. And you also learn about how electricity needs to go in a closed loop. So you're not just you know, connecting things in a straight line and, and getting a circuit. You're really learning about all of the basics of circuits. So we have lights, we have sound, we have motors, and then we have you know, different types of sensors and potentiometers and ways to change how those light, sound, and motion react. There's a lot of combinations yeah. of things that you can do. What are some of the most popular things that people have done or your favorite things? Uh, we have some demo circuits right here if you want to show them. Sure. Yeah, let's yeah. look. Um, so our favorites are the high five detector, because um, that's just fun to do. Uh, like Valerie said, all of our modules are magnetic. Um, so we'll use the steel sheet and put it under the circuit that we pre-drew. Connect our power. So um, if y'all two want to put your fingers here and here and then fist bump or high five when you complete the circuit. They're like, <laughs> oh, that's really, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> There it goes. And obviously, you can because you're drawing it out, you can write instructions with the same pen. Um, again, this, you can scale it up to whatever size you want it to be. And you can mix and match. How many of these can you like, sequence together? Uh, so if you're going in parallel, you can actually put quite a few LEDs together. Um, we were at Austin Area Maker Fair last weekend, and we had a kid, a, a table about this size, we had a kid put a battery over here and about 10 LEDs in parallel stretching across the table. 
Very, very cool. Um, and so you guys also have a new Kickstarter, right? Yeah. You guys, uh, this has been out for a, a while. People have been making projects, but you guys want to come up with your own projects. Tell me about this new Kickstarter project. Um, so we've heard a lot of beat feedback from our customers and we're inspired by a lot of the things they were making to create um, some application-focused projects. So mm. we're calling these our DIY project kits. Um, one of them is a calculator. It's a capacitive touch calculator, and um, this is the version one prototype that Val helped create. So um, it's uh, the version one prototype has an LED screen and a battery. Um, so when you turn it on, it says hello, and you can do some um, calculations just like you could on your iPhone calculator. Five plus six is equal to 11. Um, and so we were really excited about the idea of having some like paper thin application um, personal electronics and wanted to take it a step further and make it like reconfigurable because the community of CircuitScribe really likes that reconfigurability of the products we've made so far. So we've created a new um, paperclip version of the calculator that will have an LED panel and solar powered, so some of those pesky kind of encumbrances from the original version will be eliminated. Um, we're still working on some of the coding on this one, but the idea is you can, with the paperclip, you can just slide in your calculator, and then if you want to make a new one the next day, you can make a new one. You can move it from your math notebook to your science notebook. In addition to the calculator, uh, what are the other two DIY project kits you guys have? So we have a DIY drone kit and a DIY flight wings kit. And mm. so the drone kit, you'll be able to create your own arms out of cardboard and then use our pen to draw the connections between the motor and the hub. And so with that, you'll get a set of arms right away that are going to um, work and get you flying. And then after that, you're encouraged to start finding materials in your own home to make your own different arms and experience uh, or experiment with uh, aerodynamics. Uh, the flight wings are designed after maple seeds, and so those, um, you'll draw a connection from a battery to an LED and throw it up in the air, and it'll spiral down in a helix of light, just like the maple seeds do from the trees. That's so cool. And you are showing some of these prototypes here. How much prototyping do you have to do before you get to something that's, that's a, a box product? So um, these kits, the DIY kits, have been in prototype uh, the ideas came up like just under a year ago, and uh, we're still prototyping now and getting our fine tuning before we go into manufacturing. So a lot of work goes into these kits. We want to make sure that when they hit the shelves, like everyone is going to get the, a great, easy experience and know what's going on and be able to really enjoy it. So in order to put a quality product, we do a lot of uh, prototyping and testing and designing and uh, Lots of, lots of it. <laughs> and, and with the Kickstarter campaign you guys are launching now that has all these kits, does that give you information about what things are people more interested in? Is there, like, is there interaction with the community through that? That interaction is so important. Um, the community and the feedback that we got from the first campaign really helped to drive some of our decisions in the, like the bringing these kits to production. And then also just seeing, now we're seeing in the new campaign, like, oh, people really love the drone, like Hacker Pack. And so we're thinking like the drone is gonna be the most popular one. Um, and the education and application, you know, reward that we have is um, really popular too. So we're seeing that people are wanting to incorporate um, learning about circuits and then making their own applications. So um, it is like invaluable feedback. And also we get feedback during the Kickstarter that helps us with our design process. If you look at our first Kickstarter and the video and the modules that we had in there, our modules that we have today look totally different. And that's because we got some feedback on them and we did some reworking before we went into final manufacturing. And you're allowed to do that because the people who are backing it, they support that idea of making a better product. Right? Exactly. And, and they have, you're presenting them with prototypes and what you, how, you, how you imagine it's gonna come out, but it's all about this reciprocal interaction. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Well, I'd love to get my hands on the circuit scribe and maybe draw some circuits, where would you recommend me starting? Um, so we include a guided workbook with the current educational kits and we'll also have um, some instructions in the new DIY project kits um, because people are, a lot of times people are intimidated on where to get started. So I'm sure you know a little bit more um, than the average consumer, but uh, why don't you get started on page five and this um, will allow you to just follow the lines and um, you can make a simple basic circuit. <laughs> All right, let's go follow some lines and make a circuit. <laughs> And 
then there we have it, a connected circuit. Simple, I love that it's a, it's a real workbook. You actually are drawing on these pages. Um, how many projects do you guys have in that workbook? Uh, I think there's 26 <laughs> pages of uh, projects, and so that includes some basic circuit uh, education, so you're like, you know, what is voltage, what is current, what is resistance, mm -hmm. and then uh, gets you right in teaching you about every single module, how it works, and giving you an example circuit. And, you know, using this pen is really interesting. Uh, the design of the pen, this isn't just a normal ballpoint pen that you threw it in. It was, you guys actually had to design a pen. Yeah, so we spent a lot of time um, figuring out the exact um, tip uh, size because the ink in the pen is a silver flake and so if you're familiar with jelly roll pens from when you're a kid mm -hmm. um, yeah. they uh, have sparkles in them so they need to have like a wide tip in order to for the ink to flow out with the sparkles and so we have like the same problem is that you know we have that silver flake so it needs to have a wide tip to in order to dispense mm, is there a certain like width that needs to be um, for it to work or it can be a pretty fine uh, uh, for the pen, like yeah, drawing. Yeah, for your drawing. Uh, so a single line should connect it. Um, I usually go over my lines twice just to make sure that there's no breaks. Um, but uh, if you get a solid single line, you get a connection. Awesome. Well, that's really fun. Um, I'd love to keep this here and, and work on some more projects. That's all right. Yeah, definitely. And you guys are uh, you have a Kickstarter that's on. Uh, it's going on right now for the DIY projects. Uh, that's going on until uh, June twenty fifth. June twenty fifth. Very cool for your own quadcopter or a calculator that you guys can design. Uh, please check that out. We'll have links below in the description. Uh, Valerie, Stephanie, thank you so much yeah, for coming you. by. Thank and you. And we'll see you at Maker Fair. Yes, we will.